we will introduce hollow and tear strips in this section. There are two samples. We will 3D define them respectively. Please contrast them. When we define the M0, M1, M2 face, we ignored the folding line definition. In this case they will be static in the 3D. M3 turns 90 degree. M4 keeps static. M5 turns 90 degree. Now, the first and second sample definition are the same. We will check the 3D. The 3D action are the same. We will modify the second sample, define a new face H1, and set the face attributes into hollow. Let's check the 3D. We can see the H1 becomes a hollow. We will modify the definition again. We will define the small area M6 in the first sample and two main fan attributes. Check the 3D again. The main face M6 folded up, but the corresponding area of M3 is still an entity. If this is a piece of cardboard, apparently it is not logical. We will modify the define again. We will modify M3, define the tear strips part of M3 into the cover. Which means we need to define a face to make its cover has a tear strips. Then define the tear strips into an independent face. Check the 3D again. This time the teed strips has been displayed correctly. That's all for hollow and tear strips. Thanks.